We're going to record this one for YouTube, all right? So be nice, chat. Be nice to the YouTube viewers who don't come down to twitch.tv forward slash Duncan can't die because they either can't or they're lame. It's one of the two things. Either they're busy or they're lame, and that's why they don't come here to uh, the Twitch. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can always like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff. Today, we're talking about uh, our favorite boy, Tucker Carlson, the most watched cable news host in America. You need to remember that. He is incredibly highly watched. You would expect him to be a consummate professional news host, except even he doesn't claim to be presenting the news. Uh, as in a lawsuit that we've seen before, Fox's lawyers said anybody should know that what Tucker's saying isn't the facts. It's just uh, hyperbole and ranting, uh, and that's why he shouldn't be able to be sued for lying. Anyway, Tucker Carlson's coming out with a brand new special, and it's, it's super exciting. Uh, everybody's looking forward to it. Tucker Carlson talking about the drop in testosterone, the death of men, the end of men. And you are not fucking ready for this trailer. You're just not ready for this, okay? This is the teaser trailer for this, all right? I, you're just not ready. This isn't a spoof. This is the genuine teaser. Once a society collapses, then you're in hard times. Well, hard iron sharpens iron, as they say. And those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough, men who are resourceful, men who are strong enough to survive. And then they go on to reestablish order. Yep. And so the cycle begins again. The end of men. So that is the, and I, I say this with all the love in the world to my gay friends, that is the gayest thing I've ever seen, okay? That, uh, and I have been to pride festivals where people have been having sex in public. That is the gayest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> there is nothing more homoerotic than that trailer, okay? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. That is, that is super gay. And it, I'm, I'm living for it. I'm really glad that Tucker Carlson is just embracing the homoeroticism. I think it's, it's great that Tucker is down with the homoeroticism and that he's made an entire trailer super, super ultra homoerotic. But what is this special about? This special is about the dropping in testosterone in men that has been medically reported. Uh, and there are lots and lots of theories for it, and there's actually a lot of proof for some of these theories. But, I mean, Tucker's got a very different idea as to why testosterone is dropping in men. He thinks testosterone is dropping in men because men are being less manly. Uh, that's not really how it works. Generally, for a hormonal issue, there would be an environmental factor, not just, you know, men need to be more manly and go through harder times in the hard times paradox, where it's like, hard times make tough men. Tough men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. In this psych non-existent cycle of good and weak, strong men. Uh, very interesting, of course, because Tucker would be from the, ge the generation of weak men. Um, which I don't think he would ever like to describe himself as, you know. Especially when he likes these big, strong men. So, what is Tucker's theory in his special about what we should do to increase these, these dropping testosterone levels. Well, this is a very interesting special, but he suggests, or he has an expert on who suggests, and I, I, I kid you not, bromeopathy, okay? Bromeopathy and something we have talked about before, testicle tanning. Let's have a look at uh, this expert. You saw in the clip there, um, if you wanna optimize and take it, uh, to another level, expose yourself to red light therapy. Yes. Um, and the juve um, that we were using in the documentary, there's a massive amount Which of it. Which is testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning, but it's also full body uh, red light therapy. Uh -huh. Which has massive amount of benefits. And there's so much data out there um, that isn't... There's so much data out there. As we discussed in our previous full-blown video on testicle and taint tanning, there is no data out there. There is one study which didn't show what these people now say it showed, 
We went through the study. I recommend you watch that video if you really want to know all about this. Just know that there is literally no science behind this, and people are just tanning their balls for no reason. Hey, you have low testosterone. Do you know what works? TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, hormone therapy. Now, right now, the right wing really doesn't like talking about hormone therapy because trans people have hormone therapy and therefore hormones have to be bad. And if you talk about hormones being a necessary treatment for men with low testosterone, then you also have to acknowledge that they could be a healthy treatment for trans men. And so as a result, they're very, very mm, not sure about that, that hormone replacement therapy, which is fine. Hormone replacement therapy for people with low uh, testosterone is healthy. It's good for you. It's the thing that you should do. Talk to a doctor, get on testosterone. Isn't being anyway. picked up on or covered. So obviously half the viewers right now are like, what? That's testicle tanning? That's crazy. But my view is, okay, testosterone levels like crash and nobody says anything about it. That's crazy. Tucker Carlson is wearing boat shoes with no socks. Like, why do people do this? Talk about low testosterone, okay? That's, that's low testosterone footwear right there, okay? That's very, that's very, uh, what was the term back in the day? Metrosexual. That's very metrosexual of you, Tucker. So why is it crazy to seek solutions? It's not crazy to seek solutions. And I think um, I was recently exposed to a term called bromeopathy. And I think there's a lot of people out there right now that um, are, don't trust the mainstream information and they're taking- Yeah, the mainstream information. And by that, they mean, of course, the uh, information from doctors and medical professionals. <laughs> I, I just- just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous uh, again if you think tanning your testicles is going to increase your testosterone but what's amazing is that this documentary makes a valid point which is that testosterone levels are dropping in men why though because of microplastics because chemicals that leach from plastics mimic estrogen because chemicals that leach from plastics mimic testosterone blockers okay so the reason men now have lower testosterone levels on average, especially Gen Z, because they're the ones who've been hit by microplastics and things like that really hard, is because of the plastics being used by massive industry, including the frozen dinner industry. Now, what was Tucker Carlson the heir to a massive, to a massive um, company of again? The frozen, a frozen dinner empire? <laughs> so Tucker's not going to advocate for controls on these, on these big industries because that's what we need to do. We need to stop large food industry, large water bottling industry, all the big industries that are creating these plastics. We need to stop them from creating plastics. We need to force them to create renewable and uh, recyclable and biodegradable safe packaging. But that would cost them money. So instead of advocating for the thing that would actually allow us to get testosterone back up and the average guy and stop these, you know, elevated risks of prostate cancer, elevated risks of uh, sexual dysfunction, elevated risks of infertility in men, all of the effects of these plastics, instead, he's recommending that you put your balls under a sun lamp. Because sunburned nuts is the answer, not cutting off the chemicals that are literally reducing the testosterone in your body and the, the bioavailability of the testosterone that is still in your body. It's, it's so crazy. It's so great. This whole special is a trip. After having this guy on, he has Kid Rock on. And um, with Kid Rock, even Kid Rock's like, what the fuck was that last guy talking about? And Tucker's like, dude, don't, don't insult my other guys. <laughs> so our talk, ladies and gentlemen. So, so our, dude, our cameraman, dude, I, I think stop. Tom Fox is in your house right now. Yeah, he is. Dude, stop. Testicle tanning. Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard anything open, that good open in a long your, time. Open I'm your starting, mind, Bobby. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a punk rock band, and it's called Testicle Tanning. That's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think you'll be massively successful. But I mean, don't you think at this point, when so many of the therapies, the paths they've told us to take, have turned out to be dead ends that have really hurt people, why wouldn't open minded people seek new solutions? I, I don't know what the hell is going on in this world. I'm not even <laughs> sure if I understood that question, but some days I just want to stop this planet and let me <laughs> off. Like, Fuck, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know what, Kid Rock? You might be an absolute fucking nut job, all right? But even you, even Kid Rock can be like, what the, what the fuck is that guy trying to sell? Like, what is he trying to sell? But it gets even better. Believe it or not, in this same special, Tucker Carlson talks about aliens abducting cattle and thanks the people talking about it for the truth. This is not a joke. This is, I am not joking. I am legitimately not joking, okay? So he has two bearded butchers on and they talk about cattle being abducted and surgically um, butchered by aliens. You have to have the right tools. So, and you have to have the right knife with the right edge on it because if you don't have a sharp knife, you're never gonna well, be able to achieve you know, you might be able to achieve it, but, it, but it's going to look like you didn't know what you were doing. So if these animals have been found with their, you know, these pieces surgically removed and, you know, not making yeah, where a lot are of hack marks when you're cutting, where's the, where's somebody the evidence knows what they're happening? doing. Right. So that, that's Absolutely. it. So assess the difficulty here. So we've heard, well, it must be some satanic cult that has been operating, I guess, for centuries in countries around the world. But whoever... Oh, yeah, he does bring up satanic panic. There's some satanic cult around the world thing as well like tucker is going full-blown alex jones I, i'm i'm stunned that this guy is going full-blown alex jones but he is they're turning the frogs gay there's an international satanic cult and aliens are taking the cows whoever's doing this knows a lot about the anatomy of these animals and has high skill is that correct yes and frankly butchers with a skill level like ours are becoming less and less frequent in the yes. united states so even finding a butcher that, that possesses those skills would be difficult. And if you weren't a butcher, you're going to, you're going to make a mess out of the scene. You're going to have tracks, you're going to have blood, you're going to have um, the incisions are going to be inaccurate. They, they, could, they could be in the wrong place. It takes, it takes months to, to find out where to cut to, to, to actually get into a carcass, whether you're going to eviscerate it or you're going to okay. search out Calm a down. certain organ or certain part of it. That takes months or years to learn. So that's exactly why we talked to you guys, because, you know, there are a lot of freelance theories about this stuff, but yeah. nobody knows anything about what it would take to actually do Now let's do what, what the theory is. Do. So what's your, given what you know, do you have a theory on this, either one of you? Um, the, if this is true, the, the prevailing theory seems to be that it's some sort of extraterrestrial activity um, just be given the, the fact there's lack of evidence at the scene because one of the things that we employ uh, you know at our shop is heavy equipment we've got hoists and things because if you have a bull it, it, it could be 2,000 to 2,500 pounds and even if you have an animal in the That's field and you want to just get to the other bowl. side to remove a part <laughs> of it joke. it's very difficult you need uh, a lot of leverage to, to move it around or, yeah. or roll it around um, uh, I, I'm not sure I, I want to find the uh, the person or, or the the being that that, that performed this well, that's because do you agree with that, Tucker? Yeah, because you know uh, who would want to go to the work? You know, unless unless the, the pieces that they're taking have value. I love the Tucker is uh, entertaining this. Tucker's like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense that it's fucking aliens. Yeah, you guys aren't crazy at all. He's gone. He has gone completely full blown unadulterated Alex Jones. He's lost the plot. The, anybody who listens to this man, if you listen to this man, you are a lost cause, okay? And the fact that he is the most popular cable host, TV host, in America means a lot of America is a lost cause. You're done. <laughs> you're finished. <laughs> if you believe this idiot, <laughs> you're not worth <laughs> anything. You're not worth the time of day. You're really not. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, especially the homoerotic parts. I know you Tucker Carlson fans. Ooh, you love that trailer. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.